My twin flame is Bigfoot. I don't mean that's his nickname. I mean it's actually Bigfoot. See, there he is. I was like so mad at God and stuff because I was saying, God, why you gotta make my twin flame Bigfoot? Bigfoot don't want to be found. Bigfoot always running away. Bigfoot don't want to be seen with me. When I leave a plate of food out on the front porch, Bigfoot never stick around to say thank you. All the people have been looking for Bigfoot forever, and no one finds him, so what am I going to do? I just have so many doubts that Bigfoot is my twin flame. I just want to let Bigfoot go, but then I get so many signs and synchronicities. Me and Bigfoot is always arguing in my imagination. I'm starting to get real angry at Bigfoot because I'm running out of time to start a family. Bigfoot on a totally different schedule than me. Bigfoot being Bigfoot is more important to Bigfoot than being with me. Can you honestly not tell the difference between a thought or feeling that is crazy and delusional and a thought or feeling that comes from love? If you really observed your thoughts and feelings, wouldn't it be pretty easy to spot total insanity and then realize with some simple logic that it's not coming from the truth? So here's a little trick. You can ask yourself, is this thought or feeling something that would come from God? If no, then you know you are dealing with ego. You know you are dealing with a lie, illusion, false belief. It is delusional to believe this voice of ego. Make no mistake here, this voice is not yours. It is not God's. This is not coming from you, who you truly are. It is the voice of ego, the voice of fear. You are not ego but you are identifying yourself with ego. And you're either solving the problems of your life and your twin flame journey, or you're allowing them to intensify and grow. So if you don't handle them when they are this big, they will continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger and feel worse and worse and worse until it's so unbearable that you will have no choice at all but to snap. Is that what you really want this to come to? Do you want to let this go, go so far as to have some kind of breakdown that might snap you back into place? Each moment you put off dealing with the problems you are encountering, you are doing yourself a great disservice. You are allowing yourself to suffer. Do you think that's compassionate? Is what you're doing to yourself a loving action? Ask yourself these questions. If you haven't noticed, this journey is way beyond your control. But for some reason, you continually choose to listen to this voice that tells you to just keep waiting. Or it tells you that your twin needs to come up to your level. Or it says that your twin will never be ready. Or it tells you that you can't have your twin in this life. And it tells you, you to wait until next week or next month. Or, ne or next whenever to, re to reach out for help. Or it tells you billions of other things that are all crazy and insane. 
and you choose to listen to all of them. It's preventing you from moving forward. It's preventing you from choosing to see the truth about yourself, about your divinity, about God, about your twin, about everything else that you could be doing to better your situation, better your life. Deep down, you know you deserve the best. And you want so badly for yourself to have everything you desire. And the true you knows it's all possible. All you have to do is release the fear, release the ego you have to believing that. How do you do that? You do the mirror exercise. You get help. You work with someone. But ego has you perceiving illusions that you believe to be true. Its goal is to make you delusional. And if you aren't actively doing your inner work on a daily basis, it is succeeding. Right now, it may be telling you that's not true. And you, if you believe that, then it has once again succeeded. This is your precious life we're talking about. Understand when something feels good and understand when something doesn't feel good and what you need to do to fix that for yourself. Truth is simple. Love is simple. These things are in no way complicated. Ego seeks to complicate everything. And if you allow it, it will succeed. So go down below and click the links or visit asoneguidance.com and heal your separation. Come into union with your twin flame. And I'll see you next time.